Yeah, Ikwan, it's Robo the Rebel. Today I'm going to talk about the latest subject causing arguments between black men and black women on social media. But before we get to the video, even a smile is charity. So give your brother some sadaka, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So today's subject is uh, that black men and black women arguing over on social media is about a tweet from uh, that a woman seemingly posted about her baby father and it concerns his son and let's get to the to, to the to the video here so <clears throat> the woman posts a video excuse me she posts a, posts a screenshot of a text message between between her and her baby father about their son and the text message reads and as you can see here at the at the top she has him listed as a contact semen incubator so she calls her baby father a semen incubator okay so keep that keep that point in mind so the text message starts off and it looks like it's coming from the brother i just told my son to get on the game so we can play call of duty and he said you took it yeah why he responds then she responds because he wouldn't let his brothers play with him the brother responds, it's his game. He doesn't have to let them play it. She responds, in this house, we share. So yeah, he do. The brother responds, that's crazy because you got four kids and none of them share the same daddy. Give me my, give my son back his game so we can play. Then she says, bye, Rich. So this was causing arguments back and forth all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, so forth debating who's right who do you side with the mother or the father so it seemed to be split down gender lines of course as always most women siding with the mother most men siding with the father right and for some strange women or excuse me for some strange reason the women seem to overlook that she calls this man a semen incubator and the fact that she has four kids and none of them share the same dad so lots going on in this particular uh, text message here so the women seem to think that the woman was right because the young man should share his game with his brothers or his, his siblings and that it's her house and the father shouldn't buy that game um, with other kids in the house and the young man should share it and so forth right most of the brothers felt hey this is time for bonding between him and his son and he is taking care of his child the other three baby fathers or what have you aren't they didn't get their kids in uh, you know a, a playstation or whatever it is game console to play call of duty so you can't punish this man for um you know taking care of his son and giving his son nice things right and then there were a couple of i dare say simps if you want to call them that that stated this man knows better to, than, than to buy a game or toys and, and bring to the house with other children there and the other children are looking as if they um, you know they can't play it okay which is ludicrous I mean the, the man could buy it the man is taking care of his son if she doesn't want the man to buy things for his son and bring them to her house then she should give the man the son let just give him custody of the son the man can take care of the son how he wants and she can continue to raise the other three kids however she wants but it's a lot going on here right so like i said the total disrespect that women seem to just totally miss and it's always the man's fault because he had to do something in order to be called a semen incubator right so then you know some brothers responded to that as you know well she must be you know a semen bucket since she has four kids and they all have different daddies right so <clears throat> well that's the first thing the, the disrespect so immediately if you're going to come off like that if you're if you're uh describing him as that then it's going to automatically be disrespect and it's never going to be a fruitful relationship so that's that's the first problem and and, and there she's wrong because then she posted it on social media right so if anyone knows who she is then they know who he is 
you know and you know that's that's just disrespectful so the other point that i that i that i saw from this was that you know kids learn how to share at an early age or they learn how to or they learn how um not to share or that something belongs to someone else and they're not entitled to everything so when kids go to daycare two three four years old even younger a lot of times in daycare they teach the kids that if one child is playing with a toy the other child can't just come take it he has to wait his turn you know he has to go play with something else what have you and if it's something that two or more kids can play with then yes they encourage them to share but in this regard you know the young man shouldn't be punished because he's playing a game maybe the young kids are too i mean there's a lot that's missing obviously but maybe the maybe his brothers are too young to understand how the game console works and they may break it right there's a lot of things that we don't know that's going on in this but you know saying that he has to share in this house he has to share that's false you know we all grow up as adults and teenagers and so forth that someone wants us to share something and we immediately say no or, you know we may say no to family or friends depending on what it is someone wants to borrow money no nah, dog you know i can't let you borrow this money so people understand no and kids understand no from an early age so those kids if he had told them no hey you can't play this is for me and my dad you know so forth and so on then they should have respected that if the kid is not if, if the kid is not a problem he's doing good in school he's not a problem around the house that shouldn't be something to stop him from playing the game but basically it's a form of control so brothers whenever you have a child with a woman especially um well the way these court systems are in or out of wedlock it kind of doesn't matter because in wedlock the only thing that's different really is that the kids are you know are are actually ascribed to you they are yours you have some form of rights if you have a if you have a child with uh, with a woman and you are not married to her most states have um laws to where the child automatically uh belongs to the woman and the man has no legal rights to the child he actually has to go to the court and go through a process called legitimation in order to in order to be seen as the father of the child it doesn't matter if you sign the birth certificate that's not that is not a legal document that says you have rights to the child right you have to go to court and go through what a process known as legitimation i'm not a lawyer but this process is widely found on the internet and you can search uh the, your your the internet for your states on how your your state handles legitimation right lots of big states where black people are um do this pennsylvania georgia illinois um a lot of these states have the legitimation laws that you actually have to go to court and be legitimized that a that a judge says hey you are the father of these kids you have some legal rights but even if you don't have legal rights guess what you have to do pay child support so brothers it's very you know to make sure you secure your fatherly rights and, and things like this i wouldn't hesitate you know if i was in this brother's shoes i wouldn't hesitate to take her to court and and get some type of you know um legal rights for the child and his property hey me and my child we are going to play at this certain time you know call of duty so she can't obstruct that and if she obstructs that then you know she could be in contempt of court so don't be afraid to go to court and so forth but you know this is the latest thing that um black men and black women argue arguing over the gender war still continues um you know with women mostly siding with the woman here but you know the, the the woman is obviously you know something's wrong with her she has four kids by four different dudes the brother should have never touched her the, i don't know where his child is in the lineup maybe the child is first but i don't know but if he if she had the, those other three kids before he got her pregnant then this is all absolutely 100 percent his fault because he shouldn't have touched her it went in and if he did and if he did you know at least been smart enough to protect himself but you know you have to value yourself if this woman is 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 like that then even using protection isn't something 
that you should do value yourself protect your seed at all times brothers it's like boxing protect your seed at all times so that's today's video those are my final thoughts my salam ikhwan